Alright guys, today I'm going to be looking at um, lowering my driver's seat. Uh, my head just rubs against the, the, the roof of the Jeep. So I'm going to see if I can um, cut the brackets on the seat uh, and, and lower it about an inch. Let's have a look. Right, this is um, obviously a, as the seat is in my Jeep currently. Excuse the mess in here. If I, if I jump in, it's an electric seat, so I'm not sure if it's going to go that much closer to the floor. But if I jump in now, maybe you can see how close my head is. I'm sitting flush in the seat. My head's touching the roof liner. So let's see if we can make this a bit lower. Okay, this is underneath my driver's seat. Obviously it's right on driver in the UK here. There's quite a lot of electrics and motors and stuff under here, but I'm thinking I can cut this bracket pretty much flush on this radius here. Flush on that radius, weld that back on, weld that bit back on here. Same with this one. And then lower the front to the same amount. Should be good to go. Okay, it's disgusting under here, but it's worth mentioning at this point there's three plugs to, to take out on mine with the electric seats anyway. So this little one, I think it's for the seatbelt pretensioner, and these two. Now this one I was trying to undo for a while, I didn't realise you've got this red piece, you've got a slide. You've got to slide that across before it'll let you push the button down to get it unplugged. So, top tip. Gross. Right, you can see in this bit now all the all the gubbins under the seat. The electric motor does for the seat, three of them. So what I'm hoping to do, these are the front mounts. Cut this one, same amount as we're cutting off the rears. This one's at an angle, so I might just cut an amount off this one and tack it in place uh, on the car. Then pull the seat back off to fully weld it. See how it goes. It's worth mentioning at this point as well that as long you don't have to worry too much about getting them level because as long as you get the two that are next to each other level with each other, same with the rears, these seats are actually height adjustable, front and rear separately. So we'll be able to level it out then, but we'll get it as close as we can. I'm just measuring this distance here pretty crudely, but I'm just making. Uh, I'm gonna cut it. Cut these here rest on the floor of the car. I'm gonna cut those off because obviously we're gonna need those to be to be shorter to get the seat to sit lower. I'm measuring from this piece here. You might be able to see better on this piece here. Down 35 mil because I'm gonna cut flush with this line back flush with this line back, cut 35mm out of this, weld it back on. I'm going to do the same with this side, see if I can pan you over. The same with this side, this is at an angle so it's slightly more difficult but we're going to be cutting a straight line parallel with this. I'm just crudely marking it up 35mm, 35mm from there, 35mm from there, 35mm off both of the rear ones and uh, see how it goes.
Okay, I've cut this one, cut out my 35mm section, cleaned up this piece. I'm going to tack weld, cleaned up this piece. I'm going to tack weld this back on, like so. Tack welder on at this point so I don't get it mixed up which leg it's come from. Okay, we've got these uh, tacked in place, this one also tacked in place, excuse the slugs, I'll tidy that up later. This one we've cut, um, but I haven't tacked it in place yet, I'm going to do that on the vehicle because of the angle of it, I need to get that correct. So let's try to fit it. Okay, these uh, rear holes, that one's in, that one a bit short. So. I'm going to have to cut that off, extend it, and go from there. Okay, this front mount, the only way I'm going to get this hole to line up here is to overlap this welder on there. Um, that's due to the angle that sits on, so it's got, to, it's got to sit on the front of there to get that distance forward. But that's fine. I'll scribe that up now and weld it on. Okay, we've jumped forward in time a little bit now because it started hammering down. All the brackets are welded on. I've given them a bit of um, etch primer and some truck bed liner. Lovely stuff, textured finish. It covers up a lot of your grinding marks and just makes it look better. So, wait for this to dry, and then see if it fits. The back bolt holes line up. Woo! Front ones are in, bolted down. Woo! done boys much better still pretty close but not touching like before <sighs> happy days I haven't driven it yet but seat and position feels much better yeah happy thumbs up